Well, greetings, people of God. I am your pastor and your friend, Pastor L of St. Paul's United Methodist Church here in Maxton. And it is time for our weekly devotional. And I am so happy that uh, we can gather together to share in this holy uh, moment. I want to read to you a passage of scripture from the book of Psalms. I want to read Psalm 42. And so I invite you now to hear the word of God. And my soul thirsts for God, the living God. Where can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night while men say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go with the multitude leading the procession to the house of God with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the fists of throne. Uh, why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be unto God. I'm going to invite you now into a time of prayer. Let us pray. Merciful and gracious God, we are so thankful to have you as a God. A God who, who can handle the big questions. A God who can handle people when they're in despair uh, without hope. A God who, who loves and, and forgives. And so, Father... As we uh, deal with everyday life, as we deal with different situations and circumstances, uh, we ask, Lord, that you continually be with us as you've been with us in the past. That you uh, be our strength, our fortress. Show us the way, Lord. It is in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen and amen. So yeah, I mean, sometimes it does feel like everything is against us. Uh, sometimes we get the, that bad news that we weren't expecting, or sometimes we go to the doctor and maybe we not don't get the outcome we wanted. Uh, so many different things that can happen in our lives. So many things, so many bad things that we can uh, go through and deal with, and sometimes it just does feel hopeless. It feels uh, that we're in despair, that, that nothing is going right. We try and we try and things just seem to continue to go downhill. No matter what we do, uh, no matter how we do it, no matter what, things just, just seem to spiral out of control. And I think the psalmist reminds us that when those things happen, we can go to God. We can ask those uncomfortable questions. We can say, why God, why is this happening? We can pour out our hearts to Him. We can humbly go to Him and just let Him know what we're going through, what we're dealing with, what our anxieties are, what's weighing us down what's happening in our lives, and we can truly be who we are with God. And God's a big God. He can handle it. He can handle us. He can handle our situation. Man, God created the heavens and the earth. He can handle whatever it is that, that we are going through. And especially now when we're dealing with a pandemic and we're dealing with a race relations and we're dealing with students going back to school and trying to do it virtually or doing it on campus and so many unknowns, so many things that's just going on in our minds and what's going to take place next, what's going to happen next year and, and so many things that's just swirling around our heads. Well, to God be the glory. That we have a God who listens, a God who cares for us, a God who can take our anxieties. He understands who we are. He understands what we're going through. And that right there 
should be a glimmer of hope that the same God that has led us in the past, the same God that has helped us deal with different situations, the same God that has helped us through the storm is still our God today. And so I want to invite you to pray and continually pray. Paul teaches us to pray without ceasing. Pray to your God. And just let him know without fear who you are, what you're going through, what your needs are. Because our God listens. Your God cares for you. Oh, what a joy that we have such a God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, uh, we do cast our cares on you because you do care for us. And Father, we, our lives are not what we think they should be at times. Uh, sometimes we do go through those storms of life. Sometimes that road is a little bumpy. Sometimes we there are just so much uncertainties. Uh, Father, just draw us near to your to you and to your heart. And let us know that you are holding us tight and that you're not going to let go. That you love us that you forgive us and that you will always make a way because in Jesus Christ we are a victorious people. We just give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory to your son Jesus. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Blessings and peace be unto you.